Hey guys, welcome back. Code Review Guru, my name is Light, and we're on the last flag. Um, last one, I think I told you that I think the last one was my fourth flag. It actually was. Um, I realized I didn't throw that flag in there yet. Um, and one thing I'm noticing, well, I noticed before, is that 26 points and you get a private invitation, so... I'm kind of looking forward to that. I mean, there's more than enough here, right? I'm assuming you don't have to do all these to get that. But in case you do, I'm here for it. All right. So back to uh, Micro CMS version one, uh, the fourth flag. Now, this one, I ain't going to lie. I had to eat my words. I did not want to look at the hints. Um, and I didn't think it, it helped anyway. It, it didn't help me anyway because I didn't do any hints uh, for the first three flags. And um, I'm assuming I did it out of order because I started to try to relate what I did um, in my other flags back to the hints because hints weren't really helping me out. But I think this was technically supposed to be the second one so this is the only one the second flag I think second or third flag by their standards um, so I think that I had to just line my my stuff up like my answers up with that and I'm assuming that's what it was so in any case I basically in order for me to find this flag um, this one was probably the hardest one to find. Um, I had to look at SQL injection. I had to look at path, um, uh, directory traversal, path injection, um, things of that nature. So I had to do a little bit more research when I when I did that, and I'm not an expert at pen testing or anything like that. It's my this is actually my very first capture flag, so I'm having a fun time. Um but in any case, I was basically dumbfounded by what to do next. Um so I just researched and of course uh I like to keep it easy because it's the easy part. Um so I thought SQL injection. Okay, if I do SQL injection, where would I, like, how do I go about doing a SQL injection? What does it mean? What do I attack? Uh, things of that nature. So, usually, usually what I saw was people would attack the URLs or they do the input um, fields just like they would do cross-site scripting. Well, I started with the input fields, but I realized there's really nothing here. Um, usually when people do, do some type of injection of some sort, especially SQL, there has to be a database on the back side. There's no database here. Like, it's just a basic page, so there's no need for me to necessarily do a SQL type injection um, in the input fields. So that led me to kind of manipulate the URL. And after researching and researching and researching, I mean, this is... To me, it's a fluke. Honestly, I can't really express anything outside of uh, the fact that it's this attack is um, is it's a single quote SQL injection attack, um, where you basically come in here in the uh, in the URL. And you pretty much just put in a single quote. Oh, it's not on that page. Gotta go back to, I think it was the first page. The edit, it's on the edit. All right, there we go. Boom. So, Explaining this is kind of difficult. It's 
kind of difficult, but I'm going to do the best I can. So, basically, a single quote, and let me move this because I'm going to have to like, do some editing on that part. But, basically, the URL is nothing but a string. Right? URL is basically a string. And a single quote is similar to that of a delim like it's a delimiter and basically a delimiter in most cases is like that breaking point like if you ever seen like a csv file or something like that where i like if you try to pull down a file and it comes down to csv and they say it's like a delimiter or something like that it's usually like a comma and that comma is just like this is the break this is where you'll have either every cell would end like a new cell re would begin at every comma because the comma is the, is the delimiter so in this case a single quote is like a delimiter and that it's basically it kind of breaks the page itself so if I go back and I'm doing that because I don't I don't when I have to keep editing <laughs> it takes forever to edit oh not the not the hints um, if I would go back here so I go to testing and edit page so like here or just testing if I this is considered an entire string and um, if I add this quote or this uh, the single quote injection, it's kind of, from my understanding, hardly put, but it says this is a string and this is like a breaking point. And for the interpreter on the other side, it's just like, why the, is there a breaking point right here? Like, and it throws an error. Um, and usually you'll get some type of error message or something, but on our end, we just get a flag so that's the best I can put that if you have done this capture the flag and you have a better explanation please leave a comment down below um, but that is the fourth flag and yeah I look forward to the very next one that we do so I'll see you in the next video guys